rye whiskey, rye whiskey, rye whiskey, I cry. If you don't give me rye whiskey, I surely will die. Templeton, Iowa's famous bootleg whiskey was made with ordinary ingredients. Water, yeast, rye. But the ingredients in Templeton's bootlegging story are far from ordinary. Immigrant pioneers who built a tight-knit farming community on America's western frontier. A war in Europe against the German Empire that led to a war in America against German Americans and the beer they loved. Pro-prohibition vigilantes who were equal parts bigots and buffoons. Runaway juries who acquitted bootleggers despite overwhelming evidence. The village priest who kept a whiskey still in his residence, and another in the church basement. Pigs who ate whiskey mash as forage until they were falling down drunk. An unassuming merchant who became the Fed's secret informant. An undertaker who ran booze from Templeton to the big cities in his hearse. Hog houses that house no hogs, just 500 gallon whiskey stills. A mayor who spent his days citing drunkards for public intoxication, and then his nights bootlegging. A sheriff who regularly raided local bootleggers, only after secretly tipping them off that he was coming. A young man who learned to bootleg out of poverty, and then became Templeton's bootlegger king. And a federal prohibition agent who would hunt Templeton's bootleggers through three decades. This was the recipe that made tiny Templeton, Iowa, the rye whiskey capital of America's heartland. If you don't give me rye whiskey, I surely will die.